Hey guys, my name is Gobi. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick get started guide in OBS. In this case, we're going to be using OBS Studio. I'm going to be going through each of the elements and I'll be showing you how to get started with your basic setup. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is this big black box right here. This is going to be our preview window for whatever you're going to be recording or streaming. Whatever you see here is going to be recorded and or streamed. So be careful. Don't put anything here you don't want to do. On the bottom left, we have our scenes, and scenes are basically a group of sources, or in this case, a group of images and or videos or capture devices that we're going to be able to set up for quick access to switch between scenes. So my original scene is going to be what I'm recording with originally, and this is just going to be this window capture along with some games in here. In this case, we're going to be sticking to our tutorial scene just to be showing you how to set everything up. To add a new scene, simply click the plus button down here, give it a name, and click OK. I'm not going to be adding a new scene in this case because you don't really need one right now. But to add some sources or some images to your screen, you simply want to click this plus down here underneath sources and we can see we have a bunch of different options. So we have an image which if you want to use a PNG as an overlay. We have display capture if you want to capture an entire monitor. We have window capture if you want to capture a certain software, so say Google Chrome for example. We have game capture if you want to capture a game. And we have video capture device if you want to capture your webcam. In this case, I'm going to be showing you how to capture a game. So I have tabletop simulator on windowed. And in this case, windowed mode can be a little bit tricky and some games can give some difficulties trying to capture in OBS. So for example, if we go to game capture, game capture in this case is not going to work for us because tabletop simulator is in windowed mode. So to capture a windowed screen game, you're gonna to wanna to click new, you're gonna to wanna to go to window capture, click OK and locate to where your window is. In this case, my window is tabletop simulator and click OK and you can see it's in our source right here. Now you can move this around, you can scale it up and down and you can set it up in a lot of different ways, which is really, really nice. And you can do this with a number of different devices and different things. So to add a webcam, you can go to video capture device, click OK, and then select your video capture device. In this case, I don't have a webcam plugged in right now, but it's very easy to set up these different things. So like I said, if your game is in windowed mode, set it as a window capture. And if your game is in full screen mode, set it to game capture and pick up your game just like that. So on our right here, we have our mixer and our mixer is going to relate to how many input sound sources that we have. So in this case, I have my mic auxiliary on the first one. My mic auxiliary two is some other software I've installed so I can install some other things. I have my desktop audio, which is going to be my background sound, my game sound and whatever else it's going to be. And my video capture device is going to be my webcam, which in this case isn't actually related to anything. So I'm going to be removing that, which is going to be removing the video capture device from here. So with all your audio sources, you can change the volume by clicking this dial right here and you can change how much you put it up or down. And over on the right hand side, we can change our scene transitions. So if you're midstream or you're mid recording and you want to change your scene, you can set different types of transitions to cut or fade. And you can also set the duration for these transitions, which is quite nice. You can add some different effects here that if you're in midstream and you want to change from a game to a be right back soon image or whatever it may be, you can do that really effectively and really easily. So to start recording, you simply click start recording and your game will start to record. Now, as of default, when you open up OBS, you, you have no settings set up. So by default, it's going to go to your uh, videos folder on your windows and that's where it's going to go. So to change your actual recording settings, once we're ready to get going, we simply go to settings. We go to output. We're going to change our output mode from simple to advanced. We're going to click this little recording tab here and here's where we can set all the magic to happen. I would leave the type to standard. I would recommend changing the recording format to MP4. MP4 is usually the most universally recognized recording format. I would check with your editing software or whatever you're using to make sure MP4 is supported. It should be, I can't see why not, but just to be safe. You can select your recording path by clicking browse and put it to wherever you want. For me personally, I have a dedicated folder to all my OBS recordings on my C drive which is right here. And that's where I'd recommend putting everything because it's just easier to manage over there. And I would put the stream encoder to X264 because this opens up a couple of other options for us to play around with. You can select your bitrate down here. This will depend on your PC and depend how powerful it is and depend on what you're using it for and depending on the quality that you're you're gonna be recording at. I would look into your wherever you're planning on using it. Uh, for me, I usually leave this at 16,000 but I have a pretty powerful PC, so your results may vary with this. Play around with it, see what works, and put it to the highest amount that your PC can handle. If you're noticing that your OBS lags, even though your game isn't lagging, this could be due to your CPU usage preset. So I'd recommend playing around with this. I usually leave mine at super fast or ultra fast. This really just depends on your PC and how powerful it is. So there's a little bit of trial and error to figure out. If you want to see how to set up multiple audio tracks in OBS, you can simply click these. 
I have a more advanced tutorial showing you how to separate your mic and desktop audio, which I will put a card on screen right now. I also have another video where I show you how to separate your mic, desktop sound, and other applications. So say, for example, you want to put your Discord on its own track, so you can either cut Discord out completely or volume it up and down to edit around it. I will put two cards on screen and leave links in the description to my OBS playlist if you want to see some more tutorials on OBS. And finally, we come over to our audio tab and we can select our different audio types over here, our bit rate, and we can even give our audio tracks names. So that's how you edit all of your recording settings. It's really simple to set up. So I'm gonna be showing you next how to edit your audio settings and to set up different audio input devices. So come back to our settings. We're gonna to go to audio and here's where we can set all of our audio tracks. So our desktop audio device is going to be left by default to Windows. I have mine on a different track right now, so don't try to copy me, but I just leave it how it is for now. Your mic input device is what you can actually change. Just select whatever your mic is, a blue snowball, or in this case, mine is a line tree. And that's where you set your mic input to. And you can select input devices if you have others set up. And that's how you make sure your audio input devices here are all set up correctly. For streaming with OBS, I'm gonna be showing you next how to do that. You can simply click start streaming up here. But to actually start streaming, you're going to need some other stuff. Come back to your settings. We're gonna to go to output one more time. And we're gonna be going back to advanced. And our streaming is going to be set up in here. You can select your bitrate for your streams. You can select which audio track you want to use for your streams. And once again, you can select your CPU usage. To set up your stream and to actually stream, you're going to need your stream key. So you're going to need to select your streaming services. So in this case, you can use Twitch, YouTube, Hitbox, whatever it is. You're going to need to select where you are. And you're going to need to get your stream key. You're going to have to get your stream key from either YouTube or Twitch. Um, I'm not going to be showing you that in today's video. I will do a more advanced tutorial for different streaming services. I have one already for YouTube, which you can check on the card on screen right now. Or you can check in the description for my OBS tutorials playlist. I'll show you how to set up and use YouTube for live streaming. But there's, it's pretty easy to set up. And this is just a get started guide. But anyway, guys, that's a basic get started guide for OBS. I showed you the basics on how to record, how to set up your different sources, how to use different scenes and how to basically just get ready for obs and just show you how to do it anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new if you have any difficulty with this let me know in the comments down below i'll help however i can if there's any other tutorials you'd like to see for obs or anything else let me know in the comments down below i'm going to leave two videos on screen the video on the left is going to be my most recent upload and the video on the right is going to be a video that youtube most suggests that you watch so apparently this is for you so you should probably click it anyway guys thank you so much for watching until next time as always keep it saucy Peace.